Hey everybody, it's Kim, and I am on with a huge, huge <laughs> Dollar Tree haul. It's stuff I've been collecting over time, so it's not like I went to one Dollar Tree one time. Oh no. Okay, anyway, let's see if I got this. Okay, I think we're all on. Yep, little green lights on. So, Margaret had bought one of these, and I probably have one somewhere in my stash. But we were thinking about, we saw, I think it was Hobby Lobby. And I said, what, you know, she said I could make ears behind it. And I thought, wait a minute. So I got this to put ears on. So we just mount that to the back. That'll fit, I believe. Like so. Might be too big. Okay. Eh, I think it'll work. I can do something there, wire cut it or something. But anyway, for the ears, <coughs> I thought this for one ear, and then another one for another ear. Oh, well, when I bought this bag yesterday. Cute. Okay, anyway. And then I found at one of them, this was in the craft session, craft fur pink for the inside of the ears, and if I have enough, I'll do the tail. So, thought that was cute. Thought I'd do that, hopefully this year. Get rid of that stuff. <clears throat> Plus I got the croaky throat. Found these window clings. They're gnomes. I have never seen these. Be hoppy, no matter what. Cute. Emma called yesterday. She has something. She has an old, her mom's old phone, and she can call me, FaceTime it. Can I come over? So, of course, I haven't seen her for a few days, so I said yes. Now I have to catch up on everything. Anyway, um, we had a good time. Let's see what else. Oh, speaking of Emma, I found this t-shirt. It's a Gildan $1.25. She loves purple's her favorite color. It's like, okay, and I might put something on there. We'll see. So I need to throw that over there. I gotta wash it before I... <clears throat> I got more of these because I have a wreath I got from Timu and I added, I'm gonna add some of these. I did the, I'm looking at it right now, sorry. I did the pretty sequined eggs in it and I wanna add some more of these little guys. Super easy. I got these napkins. These make great, great, backgrounds. So I thought that was pretty. I can do it for any season. Then I found this Spring Fling. It was on an end cap and it's I have the other ones but this is tulips. Right now. That'll be cute. Sorry, crinkle, crinkle. What is this? Oh, and it has a pom-pom in between. Aren't those cute? That is just adorable. So there you go. That's the backside, sorry. <laughs> Tori and Vienna and her parents had a ball in good time in Disneyland. So I'm so glad that they had a good time. You always, as a grandma, you worry. So this is what it looks like when it's stretched out. But this is puffy. So they had wonderful time. There was one cute picture, though. Of Eric with the two girls, one on each side of them, crying. They were exhausted the first day, a little overwhelmed, I think. But that was the. Other than that, it went fine. But you know, if that's the only time they cried, they're doing good. Okay, let's see what else. <clears throat> I think I already have these, but aren't they pretty? So I got them in purple gingham. Oh, sorry, I'm reaching over here. I have a cat that's stuffed and meows. I'm going to put this. The dog has buddy ears, so I thought I'd put this on the kit. Yeah, I don't have a problem at all. And then the pink gingham. Adorable. I don't think they're tied. No, they're not tied together. So, anyway, they've been out. They've been out and about for a long time. Got another one of, I just love these for my face. This is perfect for travel. Let's see here. I saw these in the kids, the school teacher section. And they're little books. 
And they say Green Bay, which is cute. They had different styles. But it comes with, wow, four books. I should buy these for Emma's classroom. The kids would have fun with that. And I don't know how many pages it has in each book. But they're just these little books. And I said, well, that's cute. I think Emma and Tori would love coloring in these. I didn't know it came with four. I thought it only came with two. Let's see what it says here. There. Blank books, 16 pages in each book. And you get, oh, well, it said four. Okay, I got four. So those are cute for the little ones. Okay, I've been looking for these. I think they're so pretty. So I got two. And to go in them, <clears throat> I found these pretty blue. I don't usually see, I usually see white and red or an off white, but they had the blue ones too. Luminescence taper candles. So I thought that would go really pretty. I'm gonna put that so it doesn't break yeah, over there. Okay, what else? You'll see in another haul because I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby yesterday. Anywho, I got some lavender and I want to put it in this. So I've, you know, they had purple uh, and they had this blue, so teal. So of course I got the teal. It was not an easy decision though, and I've never seen this pedestal, and it's perfect for your to your trays or anything you're trying to put up a little bit. Light blue. I've seen them in all kinds of colors and styles, but not this one. Maybe I'm just missing the boat. But anyway, got that. Let's see. This was unique in size. And so I got this wood plaque. I think it's, wait a minute. I still have my house. is such a mess. I gotta clean it today. Eight in diameter. Just a little under. So that's cute. Or you could use this side, which I kind of think I'll use that side. I just put all that stuff out in a wood bin. Uh, let's see here. I know I have one, but I got another one. Let's put downstairs. I have the two rules collecting stuff, right? This is super cute. Bunny. And I could just use my paint markers on this. I don't know how many. Oh, you get three. Okay, just read and it tells me. It's a wonder what reading does. Okay, and I tell me I got a lot of stuff. Okay, so I found this paper meat flare felt tip pen, so I thought I'd try that. Won't bleed through paper. Ooh, 0.7. Let's see. Medium point. Okay. Uh, oh, will bleed through your hand. <laughs> Emma yesterday decides that she's going to play beauty salon. And instead of using makeup, she wanted to use, I gave her some little inker stamp spots that I had from Stampin' Up. She wanted to use my really good timbles. I was like, that's where I'm going to draw the line. Anyway, I had red ink. I had blue ink. Luckily, it all came. She goes, you need to take that off before we go anywhere. You look like a clown. I go, you're the one that did it to me, you nut. Oh my god, I love that kiddo. Hang on. Another journal ink. Magna. Magna tank. Smooth. I don't have paper over here. Nice. So there we go. Let's see. Maybe I have a piece of paper we can test it out. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh yeah. Ooh, I like it. Very nice. So it's a black pen. I mean, nothing to write home about, but you know, like a good pen. Got some more of this. I've been spraying it in my room before I go to sleep. Hi, Judy, if you're watching, she had told me she likes these spray bottles for the Tim Holtz mica inks and things. Was that it, Judy? So she, it's a good spray. It doesn't clog up. But in the meantime, I've got some nice lavender, but she uses it Wizard Naturals infused with essential oils aromatherapy. So I'm collecting these so I can make mixes in there. I'll have to call Judy again and find out exactly what she does. I got one of these. I probably have this. This is that chalk writer. And I usually get them on white, but I got the gold one. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. 
doesn't really show that well on pretty oh my gosh so you could do it on dark colored paper yeah baby fun 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 what else i almost guaranteed i have these but somebody showed using them as flower centers i was like oh my gosh i never thought of that so i got more just in case i don't have them or can't find them that's the other issue right hope you're in for a long video if not you can just forward <laughs> It's like I lost stuff. I almost said the bad word. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, I just thought I'm going to give these a try. So let's try these little scallopy doo doos. Saw to shape. I'm sure I have some of these somewhere in my craft hoard, but I thought, well, for $1.25, I'll try out there. These look just like the EK success or whatever. So let's try it. Oh, yeah out okay these kind of things have been around for centuries <laughs> i exaggerate you know that i got these i got i think it was three two or three of them i think they're really pretty for um tori's birthday banner they're kind of a what is it called foil they're not foil though but they're kind of opulent Hieroglyphic. Just really liked them and they're good size. Iridescent, that's the word. Silvery. Hopefully they come out here easy. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Isn't that pretty? She's doing a princess party. So there you go. All right, so I got, I think it comes with 86 letters, but I wanted to make sure I had enough for everything. So I got two, don't you know. Oh, speaking of Tori, for that pillow I bought her, this is gonna go on one side. This, I'm sorry, this is Timu. I shouldn't have grabbed this, but it's staring at me. So I grabbed it. I'll put that back in my team. I go to Timu home too, I'm sorry. I got distracted. Found this rainbow iron-on badge. Cute. <clears throat> I thought this was cute for a keychain. I need to get my diamond art back out. My life is about to slow down. I have one more trip. Margaret and I are going up to the mountains, the pass. I was <laughs> near a German-themed town up in the um, Airbnb for a week. So, yes, we will do videos. So, anyway, so... After that, I don't really have any big plans till the fall. I mean, I'll go to my trailer and that sort of thing. But I've got these to mail to the girls and give to Emma. These are just too fun. And Emma got into what made it do that. So we had to test it out. Yes. It's basically how you make a volcano. That's what you do in those. Okay. Oh, metallic inks. Let's try these out. So yeah, we're gonna go up, Airbnb it, go to the German town. It has cute shops and stuff, but there won't be as much shopping, so we'll get more crafting done hopefully. Let's see. Oh, it's got a red thing on the end. Okay, that's kind of a shiny. You're not gonna be able to see that. It's kind of glimmerish-ish. Let's try the teal though. See, it has this red on the end, and you take that off. Why not? Just throw it on. Ooh, I like it. Of course, I like it, but it's unique. I don't know if you can see. It's got a shimmer to it. So fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Got those. What else? What else? I'm trying to do this in somewhat of an organized fashion. You know how that is. I found this at one of them quite a while back, about a week or so ago. Is this not? And this thing is big. Oops, 17 inches long. I might give it to Mark. I just couldn't leave it behind for a dollar twenty-five. Hello, coffee. Here, open 24 hours. I just don't have a lot of wall space in my kitchen, and what little I have, I've used up. So, but yeah, I just thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. So I had to get it for a dollar twenty-five. Leave it behind. I got some more of this foam mounting tape. 
never have too much of that. Yes, you can, but whatever. Uh, uh, for you want metal for your um, metal sharpeners for your colored pencils. So I grabbed these. They have two sides to them. Dual pencil sharpener, sassy and chic, and it was in the beauty section. And I'll get to the beauty stuff in a minute here. Good word. Da, 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 da. Not that you could. Okay, so it's got a big one and a smaller one. Perfect. Two of them for a dollar twenty-five. I mean, seriously. Okay, and I thought I would get these, so I got two of these. These are these foldable, and I think they're 9.25 by 6.61 inches. So it just clicks into place, and this is what it looks like when it's done. But, you know, holding little items. And then you can fold it up for, like, when I travel. I don't know how I'm going to get it back apart, though. I don't want to break it. Anyway, it collapsed <laughs> somehow. <laughs> God. Here, let's try this one. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here. Obviously, it goes up like this. And then it has these two that you fold down, click them into place. Bada bing, bada boom, you got a cute little, whoop, little box. Yeah, look at that. Is that clever? Good job, Dollar Tree. Kind of impressed. All right, <clears throat> the last stuff, if you're not interested in beauty supplies, then, oh, before I get to that. Four Finger Eric Lemon Squeezy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I usually bring a mug with me um, on my travels because like hotels have paper cups and sometimes I don't like their cups. So I'm going to bring this on our trip. But I like, it's not too big. Margaret doesn't like some of my mugs because they're too big. This So it meets everybody's qualifications. <clears throat> All right, so beauty stuff. I don't know why I bought these. I mean, why do I want coconut infused swabs. I don't know. I like the size of it for travel is what I was thinking, but it's like, really? Do I really want coconut stuff? These are considered cosmetic swabs, so maybe I'm not supposed to put them in my ears. Let's see if they really... Nah, I don't smell it. No. It's gonna be okay, but perfect. Perfect little size for crafts, cleaning your ears, all that hoo-hoo. Okay. I like these blenders for actually my makeup. I, I have a new um, cream blush that I put on. This helps spread that. So this is, I'm into this B Pure. This isn't one of those, but this is called, oh, look at her. I mean, come on. <clears throat> yeah, that ain't me. Okay. Then I'm into this whole B. This is by EcoTools. I'm off. And I tried one. I got two of them. And what this is, it's called a bio blender. 100% biodegradable. So I'll bring this on our trip because it'll last me. So you just have this little sponge to wash your face. Kind of like the cloths only. And then you hang it up to dry after you wring it out. That's all cushy and it worked really well. So there you go. <clears throat> I got a gel mask by Freeman. So I see these brands, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's a good deal. So I get it. Then I'm into this. Here it is, Be Pure. So I found this finally in a color I think will be good for my skin. I don't want to bring all my big, I have, um, you know, regular size tubes of makeup, but I don't want to pack all that. So I thought I would try this one. This is Clean Beauty Glow Foundation Nude. So nice and small. Let's see if it's... Uh, oh, God, Lord. It came squirting out. Ugh, okay. Too bad Emma's not here. We could put it on her. But yeah, perfect. And I don't always... Um, who is it that I use? The baked... Of course, I can't remember her name when I'm on here. Yeah, good color, though. 
Okay, anyway. It'll come to me in a minute. It's the baked powders and... <laughs> and then I got Be Pure Hydrating Night Cream and Hydrating Moisturizer. It's compared to Oil of Olay. So I got those two. They're going to be just beautiful. <clears throat> anyway, Olay Regenerous Cream Cleanser, Paraben Free, cleanses and exfoliates for smoother skin. And it's another compare to um, Oil of Olay. Apply cleanser to damp skin. See, I don't always do just the cloth. Some nights I do a kind of a scrub or, yeah. So get in there, get all this off of there. And then I just put this on. <clears throat> I don't know if I know it's a huge. My Be Pure Hair Serum to bring out, moisturize it, and define curls. You guys think should I keep my hair this length or should I get longer again I don't know is this making me look older what do you guys think leave a comment below yes you should get it back to it used to be kind of a bob type thing came down to here I don't know I mean this is super easy and I like that it brings up my curls but I don't know so let me know what you think what should I do so I think I'll say this and then it won't be this is it this is all I got <clears throat> Okay, guys, that is it. If you hung in there this long, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you guys, and I'm glad to be back. Got lots of videos to do, so we'll talk to you soon. Bye.